Hey guys, Nay here and I am back today with day three of the Hey Nay Daily Birthday Marathon Extravaganza and I thought I want to do another 12 by 12 Christmas video for you guys because you know how much I am really loving my 12 by 12 layers at the moment. You probably don't, but I am loving them that much. It is insane. And so today I wanted to do a layout for you showing you how to use a really girly themed collection to create a masculine layout. And so I've started off with this photo of Vinny that my sister took on her iPhone and it is just so amazing. He is just so happy and pulling this really wild crazy face and it's in black and white and just perfect. And then I went into the Silhouette Studio and went to Jodie York and had a look at her artist studio. And if you don't know Jodie's work, she does the most amazing brush script work. And I've actually got some of her stuff on canvas, but she also has these amazing cut files in the Silhouette Shop. And so I purchased a heap of them, but this one here, the Wild and Free, was beautiful and it fitted the photo perfectly so I decided to cut that out of the top of out of a white piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and then I'm just backing it in the gorgeous regrettably uh, floral paper from the crepe paper cute girl collection and that is the collection I'm using throughout the entirety of this layout I really wanted to use the floral side but the black with the triangles just stood out more and it gives it that more brush stroke kind of look but has that triangular pattern in it so it's not so solid black and it's recessed in with the, the cut file so it just gives it a little bit different dimension and what I've done is I've centered that at the top of the page and I'm going to create a photo layer cluster thing down the bottom there with the photo there's the photo ah oh, it is just I love that photo so much like it is the most joyful photo you know like a kid having that much fun is just amazing <laughs> so what I've done now is to give it a little bit more of that wild look I've come in with my sewing machine and I'm just sewing a zigzag back and forth just because I wanted to I mean I'd stuck down all the little bits and pieces but it still wasn't sitting right for me I'd still I should have gone in with my glue and adhered it all to that cut file, but I didn't. So I came up with this idea to use the sewing machine and it just adds that sort of punk rock kind of look to it. You know, the old, uh, would it be the denim jeans with the patches and the zigzag stitches like right across it. So that's the kind of look I'm going for. And in the end, I really like how it looks, but right now it's very much a, quite a masculine layout I do make it quite girly towards the end but I once again I'm having machine troubles I am not the best sewing machinist at all I uh, use cheap cotton thread and I have a cheap sewing machine and it sews straight lines and I know how to rotate the foot and that's about it and fill the bobbin that's me <laughs> So if you see me struggling with the sewing machine, thank you for all your tips. I have had people give me tips on sewing machines before. I really do appreciate it. Paper is my jam, not not material and thread. <laughs> I really suck at it. But I'm just sticking down a few threads on the back there with just some plain old sticky tape. I wanted to continue that sewing zigzag all the way down, but my bobbin ran out of thread and I was not about to refill the bobbin halfway through a video so I just left the puncture holes in there and it's going to get covered up eventually anyway so I'm glad I didn't do it the whole way down but even if I hadn't covered it all up the, the dots poking through still gave it that edgy kind of feel so I was, I was totally okay with that. So now we're on to the layering of the photo and I had a bit of trouble with this again like I say I always have trouble layering my photos it's just something I struggle with I don't deal with it very well and I was wanting to use black and white papers, you know me, always wanting to do black and white and failing miserably at it. So this time I'm trying the different colours and seeing what I like and I keep going back to this little patchworky kind of piece of paper, the black and white one with the diamonds on it. That's the one I end up going with. This green does not make it. I do not like it. <laughs> 
and I'm not happy with it. It just doesn't look right. So I pull it off and I go for the black and white one. I think because his face is cut off at the top, if I put the green on there, it just made it look more cut off, whereas the white sort of blends into the white of the other paper and it, it's not as noticeable, I think, maybe. I'm trying to sound technical, but it's not working. <laughs> so now I'm deciding to go with the yellow paper just to bring out a bit of brightness. And at this stage, I was like, yes, this is starting to look like a boy's layout. It's reminding me a little bit of the Cool Kid collection, even though I'm using the Cute Girl collection. But now I'm just playing around with a few other papers because I wanted to try and use some more of the girly papers in here to try and really show you you can get a masculine layout using girly papers. I fail. I don't get that many papers papers on here at all. I don't get many girly bits and pieces until I pull out this piece of pattern paper, which I absolutely love. I need to get another piece of it because I've nearly used it all up now. But I am just fussy cutting, and yes, you see me fussy cutting through this entire video, some of these flowers. And yes, I am adding pink flowers to a boy layout. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Nothing, because the layout turns out really awesome in the end. And once you finish watching this video, you are going to go and put pink flowers on your boys' layouts because it looks that awesome. <laughs> but my challenge, even though it is not a challenge for the Hey Nay Daily birthday marathon, is I would love to see your boy, boy layouts using girl papers and girl layouts using boy papers. So using reverse gender themed papers on your layout and, you know, just changing it up a bit. The one thing that I sort of get a bit distressed about with uh, some people is when they say that they can't use a paper collection because it is not uh, a boy-themed collection and they only have boys. I'm sorry, I'm going to put doilies on my boy layouts and I'm going to put pink flowers on my boy layouts. Make it work. You can make it work, honestly. The photo is the thing that tells the story. The paper and the colours and the embellishments are just fluff. They literally are just... The decoration it's it's the photo that tells the story and if I can pull off a boy layout using pink flowers you can too and I mean I would love to see some girl layouts using like blues and greens like I think they would be really pretty too now I'm just fooling around with some bits and pieces and embellishments and I do try quite a few bits and pieces here I wanted to use that wood veneer crown the layered crown from the crepe paper cute girl wood veneer pack. I really wanted to use that because I thought it would be perfect for this but alas it doesn't end up making it on the layout. I stick with just the stars but now I'm just throwing on that doily and like I said yes I am using a doily on a boy layout. It just softens everything. It just is that white on white layout that I need. I could have used tulle. It could have been worse. So now I'm just popping in those flowers and sticking them down. I do change the position of that little rosebud piece but for most of it it sort of stays where I had it originally. Now I'm playing with the embellishments and seeing what I'm going to stick on top and the bottom. First I wanted to use this little heart from the Pink Paisley Take Me Away by Paige Evans. That doesn't go on there either. The crown comes up and now we're just sticking with the chipboard stars from the Cute Girl sticker sheet, the chipboard sticker sheet, the puffy sticker sticker sheet, all the stickers from the cute girl collection that had stars I basically used on this layout and I threw in some grey ones, some teal ones, some yellow ones and black ones and then I came in with some wood veneer stars from Studio Calico. These are like one of my favourite embellishments ever. They're just so tiny and just perfect. So I'm adding those into the cluster and then I'm coming in with some sequins and I look through my gold sequins and find these really pretty yellow Studio Calico Colour Theory. When Colour Theory first came out they had the star and rounded sequin bundle and so the yellows were two different shades of yellow and this really light one goes perfectly with the photo mat. I really, 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 really love that little continuation of the yellow up the page having that little flurry of stars and sequins going up the page up around the title and it just draws your eye up from the photo which is a really good thing but I've also used the rule of thirds on this layout which sort of helps free up your eyes a bit as well 
So I've focused everything on the middle third of the layout. I have used just that middle third and the other two are not being used at all. They're kept completely blank, completely white. And so it sort of draws your eyes in and up. But anyway, I am just sticking all those down now and this is basically the layout pretty much finished from here. I am going to apologize now and I've just realized I filmed this of a night time and so the shadows are a bit annoying. For these deadlines guys, I have to film some videos of a night time. So I'm sorry about the shadows, but at least you're getting really awesome content. Is that a substitute? I think so. So that is basically the layout there guys. I do come in with the puffy stickers. Again, I think I keep thinking that it needs just that little bit more to frame it off. And so I found this scalloped puffy sticker and I put it down the bottom. I thought, oh wow, that looks really good. I like how that looks. I was like, oh, I wish we had, I wish I had another one to put at the top. And then I went back to the sticker sheet, had a look. There was another one there. So I add that sticker to the top and the bottom. And so it just, once again, frames in that one third that I've put bits and pieces on. But that is it, guys. That is the layout. Let me know what you think of my girly boy layout, wild and free. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Jump over to the Hey Nay Daily Creatives group and show me your boy layouts for a girl and your girl layouts for a boy. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.